Hey guys, I'm back with another Cherry Keyboard review and today we are checking out the MX 1.0 TKL version because I'm an oldie that doesn't know how to use the num key. Anyway, this time I've opted for the MX Brown switches which makes it suitable to use without annoying everyone around you. Let's dive into this keyboard further. The Cherry MX Board 1.0 is a wired mechanical gaming keyboard. In the previous video, we had a look at the entry-level gaming keyboard, the GAT3000S. The MX 1.0 is a slight step up in build quality over that keyboard, making it heavier and a bit wider, which for a keyboard is a welcome addition. Can't say the same about humans. The model that I have is the non-backlit version which comes in two colours, black and white. There's also an RGB version that only comes in black. I'll be honest with you, using a non-backlit keyboard is pretty weird considering that the last time I used one of these is in primary school. Nonetheless, I can see the appeal for this stealthy, professional looking keyboard for office use. Paired with the relatively silent MX Brown switches, this keyboard belongs in the office where you pretend to do work. Speaking of switches, you have the option to choose between MX Red, MX Blue and MX Brown switches. Here's how my MX Brown switches sound. The ABS keycaps have an additional UV coating to prevent wear and tear as much as possible. It also goes without saying that all Cherry MX switches use their Gold Crosspoint technology which ensures high precision key contact for matchless reliability. The height of this keyboard can be set at 3 angles. You can have it in the default position with the foldable feet closed or use the included non-slip rubber feet for a slight incline and lastly with the foldable feet deployed. The keyboard also features full N key rollover of up to 14 keys. Great ergonomics and reliability. And for those wondering, yes, it's still a plastic build but just like the GAT3000S, it's a very sturdy build and I can hammer down and press hard on the keys without any worry. Now let's have a quick look at the Cherry Utility software. Since it's a non-backlit model, you can technically only do one thing which is creating a user key. That key can then be remapped, set to a macro, input a text or even launch an application. That's literally it. Having used this keyboard for about a week now, I really enjoyed the typing experience and I did game a bit with it. Since I'm quite a bad gamer, the keyboard usually takes a beating. I must say, this keyboard takes it like a champ. So this keyboard is obviously a step up from the entry model. But is it worth getting? If you're solely a gamer, go for the RGB version of the MX Board 1.0. Not having any backlight or RGB is something that you think will not make much of a difference until you don't have it. I'm not into any of those fancy RGB patterns but I do appreciate having a backlight because I'm on my computer usually at night and unlike an office, I don't have a lot of bright overhead light. Speaking of the office, if you live and breathe in one and prioritize productivity over anything else, this is the keyboard for you. So if you're thinking about getting this keyboard, I've got good news for you. Cherry Malaysia is currently running a Chinese New Year campaign. For every purchase above 200 ringgit in a single receipt, you can get the Cherry 8 key AC 0.3 keycaps. You also stand a chance at winning an extra 88 ringgit ampau. It's a pretty sweet deal, especially the free keycaps. So that's it for this video. All the purchase links as usual are in the description box below, including the campaign details. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!